Yeah, McNeil and I drove out to Corinth to check out the old uh, Alden place, but it was empty. No sign of Obrecht or your son. Looks of it. I've only been there for a while. It was, uh, it was Obrecht's last known hideout. Where could she be? I'm really sorry, man. Let me know if there's anything else I can do. Yeah, thanks. I will. Working out again, or is this dress code? I'm just getting back from an all-nighter at work, and I just took a shower, so you're lucky I'm dressed at all. Cool. I feel incredibly lucky. Yeah, do you have time for an update? Yeah. Come in. Thank you. So, what's going on? Well, Julian Jerome came through for us. Yeah. Is there ever any doubt? Quite a bit, actually. So, really? Yeah. Okay. I guess I walked into that one. Yes, sir. Ah. Private conversation, or are you guys? Uh... Sorry. Um, actually, no. I asked Julian to run the article in the paper, and glad you have it. Ta-da! Page two. Impressive. You must have some pull. Court Charles Press has learned that the key witness in the murder of Nina Clay, pharmacist Henry Nakamura, did not die last month, as previously recorded. Ms. Clay is the wife of prominent GH oncologist, Dr. Silas Clay. Pharmacist Henry Nakamura is instead recovering from a near-fatal injection of medication, which is the same MO Dr. Clay allegedly used to put his wife, Nina, into a coma, which led to her recent death. Sources say Mr. Nakamura is now well enough to provide important testimony that could result in the arrest of Nina Clay's killer. This actually sounds real. And Ava has no reason to suspect it isn't. If all goes as planned, she'll dive right into our trap. This is this is great, Sam. Really, you you really came through. Yes, you did. Thank you. And Mr. Nakamura, fearing for his life, has refused to speak since his recovery. But sources close to the investigation say he has an explosive story to tell, not only about his own attack, but about the person who came to him for the prescription medication that killed Nina Clay. He's indicated that he's now ready to give irrefutable testimony, but only to Detective West. As soon as today, he'll be escorted to Port Charles under protective custody. It should do the trick. So you're thinking as soon as Ava hears about this, she's gonna wanna finish Nakamura off. Yeah, I mean, even though he's actually dead, I just hope she likes surprises. She hates him. What? Okay, all right, well, thank you again, and just get me posted. Okay, I guess this is gonna take a little longer than expected. Ava hasn't seen the paper yet. That is assuming Ava really is the guilty party. So she... You're still trying to pin Nakamura's murder on me? I thought we were past this. It's an ongoing investigation. Hey, listen, if Ava Jerome isn't your prime suspect, what are we even doing here? Oh, well, I got my eyes on Ava Jerome, definitely. But until we actually trap her and I get a confession, I'm not ruling you out. Or anyone else. You are so stubborn. Is it really that hard for you to admit that you're wrong? All I want is justice for Nina Clay. Well, all right, well, then you just give your little mantra a rest, all right? Because no one wants to nail Nina's killer more than I do. Oh, it's a text from Julian. You have a reading article. It's working. All right. Here we go. It's time for phase two. Let's go. Cool. 